Bidding success has far more to do with your actions than on the available pool of compatible singles. So start by avoiding the six common dating mistakes. Hi everyone, it's Patty from Executive Search Dating, Vancouver's number one personalized matchmaking service. Today's subject is six fixable flaws that are holding you back from dating success. You know, if you've been single for a while, it's easy to become frustrated with the dating scene, particularly if you're a busy single or professional who's ready for a relationship. But you might be surprised to learn this. Dating success has for, far more to do with your actions than on the available pool of compatible singles. So it may be time to fine tune your dating approach. Start by avoiding these six common dating mistakes. Number one is checklist dating. Nothing will turn your date off faster than feeling like they're being interviewed. Yes, having dating criteria is important, but being open to meeting a wide variety of people will maximize your chances of finding a true connection. Number two, just another meeting. Treating your dates like business meetings can seem like a very normal thing to do, particularly if you're a single professional who has a lot of business meetings during the day. But here's the problem with this approach. It can make your date feel like a business meeting and whoever wanted a business meeting to go on forever. Number three is less me, more you. Focusing more on your date than on your own feelings, particularly on a first or second date, will dramatically increase your chances of dating success. If your date is having a good time, you'll have a good time too, and vice versa. Number four, the 10 second rule. Deciding right away whether you like someone will likely mean you'll miss out on the one that's truly a great match for you. Sure, chemistry is important, but true chemistry is not just physical. Take your time. You have nothing to lose but your single life. Number five is self-control. When you do meet someone you're really interested in and the date is going fantastically well, try not to overdo it on a first date. Avoid drinking too much or trying too hard to close the deal. If the date's going well, propose a second date right there and then. There'll never be a better time to get a yes. Number six, follow through. If you've met someone you like, don't let them slip through the cracks because you're too busy. As matchmakers, you'd be surprised how often we have a client that uh, come back to us months afterwards and, think, and say that that match that we selected for them a couple of months ago was really probably their perfect match, but for whatever reason, they got too busy and never followed up. There's nothing more important to your dating success than staying true to your word. Let your date know you're interested in seeing them again, then make it happen. Your future happiness depends on it. There you have it, everyone. I hope you found that helpful and useful. I hope you're enjoying the holiday season so far, and we'll look forward to talking to you again real soon. Take care.